Okay, bye. The goblin trick for improving your mood. Get some small rocks in your hands. At least three, but maybe more if you have big hands. Close your hands together around all the small rocks. And shake. Rocks will bounce on your hands and on other rocks. There will be noises. There will be good noises. Profit. Okay, but why does that actually sound super relaxing? So I'm currently working at a law firm, and the other day one of the attorneys was talking to me, and he mentioned that he's not very confrontational. And I'm like, you are a lawyer? And he said, yeah, but in court there are rules. I can argue with some schmuck in a suit in front of a judge, no problem. But when I leave the courthouse and go home, I'm not going to argue with my wife about dinner. There are no rules in our kitchen. I would die. Warning, this post contains strong language. <clears throat> Flexing muscles, sit-ups, abs, lifting weights, push-ups, physical activity, running, football, biceps! Dang, that was strong. Damascus was a bad man at the vet and was very bitey, so he got put in the lizard straitjacket for his x-rays. Imprisoned for his crimes. <laughs> Look at that sad little dragon. Today I learned that Vikings exchanged swords as part of their wedding vows, and I, for one, think we should bring that back. The bride and groom then exchange rings to further consecrate their vows, offering rings to one another on the hilts of their new swords. Is this not one of the most romantic things you've ever heard? I want it. I was trying to make my friend a birthday cake, but the dye on the decorative icing started leaking and dripping everywhere, so it accidentally became the most ominous and violent looking baked good I ever seen. So I slapped some sprinkles to try to make it less threatening looking. It worked. A little bit. <laughs> Just to clear up some rumors, I do have blood, and I do have all my bones, and I didn't take them from anyone. I grew them myself, so stop asking. To me, this is really out of context. What the heck happened? You know, for some reason that I will never understand, scrolling through your blog during a mental breakdown cures it immediately, and I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but I ain't mad at it. Two messages I regularly receive. Your blog almost gave me an anxiety attack, and your blog cured my anxiety attack. I don't understand it any better than you. July? Did you mean Pride Month 2 Electric Boogaloo? Hell yeah, let's do it. Can they, like, release new vegetables? I work at a Whole Foods and I'm here to tell you that they do. Some lady the other day put this on my conveyor belt. And I'm like, ma'am, what is this? And she has the audacity to say, I don't know. My wife just got this tapestry in the mail for the wall of her yoga room. She opened it up and laid it out to look at it, and then Toki, of course, laid down right in the middle. So now he's in a low-budget adventure flying through the woods. Enjoy. Majestic. I'm watching a documentary on Netflix about animals getting prosthetics, and this vet just hand-sculpted a prosthetic beak for an injured swan, and the very first thing it did was use its new beak to bite someone. You fool. You've made Untitled Goose Game Revengeance! Pants are an illusion, and so is death. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Bringing you entirely underappreciated words of wisdom since 2005. The Emoji Movie got a confirmed animated series, and I left a dislike on the trailer video, and later that night, Gene, a character in the movie, broke the wall while T-posing with the default facial expression and shot me in my bedroom. Yeah, it's funny how people in notes are saying, gotta remember that goddamn blog name, but this reads like an actual Tumblr.com shitpost. I wouldn't bat an eye if I saw this on my dash, even if I didn't see the name. Donald. No matter our race or gender or creed or way of life or species or breed, no matter our height or girth and scent, we all hate Donald because Donald is a fucking dick. This old Bo Burden poem is oddly appropriate in 2016. It's like he predicted it. I misread that last word and I was like, what are you all going against Donald Duck? Is it because he doesn't wear pants? Oh no, my Wi-Fi's down. I'm now in the Gradient Zone. Gradient Zone aesthetic, y'all. Hey, look. Shitty internet pride flag. I like it. Am I doing crystal healing right? Yes, absolutely. I feel so much better after seeing this picture, so yes, you must be. Hey, Pucky, you got any magic powers or something like that? Yeah, but what's up? Up is this really sad movie about an elderly man and a chubby kid. Actually, it's a happy movie because it has balloons and a golden retriever, so fuck you. Behold, a giraffe. Hey, that's not a giraffe. 
Uh, lionesses are known for their cunning hunting. I love the idea of an oddly specific curse that isn't even harmful. I got one. Curse where on Tuesdays you can't say the word Tuesday. Hey, what day is it today? The second Monday. Cool, thanks. Whoever invented chess wasn't fucking around when they made knights. Everything moves in straight lines different ways, simple enough. Now there's a horse that jumps over people in an L shape. Now that is a thrill ride for the 16th century gamer. How can your body replicate the feeling of falling from high altitudes in a nightmare if you've never fallen like that before? I don't know, but I don't like this post. Why is there a fucking tomato in the train? Because the subway. Fuck you. Y'all, I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time, and Sokka's girlfriend actually turns into the moon? I thought that was a metaphor or something. It's rough, buddy. Fuck it. Public school lunch. Yo, y'all got true moo? We got that off-brand shit. Falsehood moo. What do you mean I don't have a social life? I just went grocery shopping with my mom. Post that hit differently in May 2020. And still hit in July 2020. Hey girl, you single? No. Would you like to be? Aggressive divorce attorney advertising campaign. You can do better, babe. Let's make this happen. Okay. But imagine. Persephone making a flower crown for Hades, and it's his favorite thing ever, and he wears it all the time, and nobody would ever say anything bad about it because A, are you really gonna insult the god of the underworld? And B, everyone in the underworld loves Perse. She's like the dead mother of hell. When you see it, what am I looking for? I'm so fucking angry. I've seen this post like three times and every time I look for five minutes trying to figure out this fucking post and I never understand. I have no idea what's the point of this post is. I don't understand, fuck you guys. Look at his stomach. The world is a beautiful place and I am no longer afraid to die. Who wrote Harry Potter? Someone who doesn't exist anymore. Their personality, their connection to our world disappeared the day they gained one billion dollars. All that's left is a little demon that gets angry at those who are different than them. <laughs> Fuck, it's true. And finally I present to you... Tool Gator! Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon. You can turn into a robot. You can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and soak outside your strange father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. June? What's next, July? Heaven forbid, August? When does the nonsense end? I have received some atrocious news. I'm wondering if Bucket Show is the Joker in disguise who is really Deadpool but has the mind of a five-year-old. I really hated everything you just said in more ways you'll ever know. This is worse than the death threats I've received. Blocked! The seven deadly sins, the big hungry, the big horny, the big angry, big overconfident, big jealous, that... What are the other ones? Big lazy and capitalism. Ah, oh, right, thanks! Burger King is offering one cent whoppers through their mobile app if you unlock the coupon wall at a McDonald's. Why does Burger King app have quests? What the king asks, the king gets. Every time I think, I take 10 damage. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. This one time when I was seven, I thought I could talk to trees because I had no friends. And I used to sit by them and say things, and one day I was talking to my tree friend called Kevin, and this girl went up to me and said, Are you talking to that tree? You freak! And I started crying and hugged on the tree, and while she was laughing, one of the branches fell on the girl's head. Thanks, Kevin. Josh Freud, grandson of Sigmund Freud, collaborated with King Princess great-great-granddaughter of the owner of Macy's on a line of silk and cashmere sweaters embroidered with anime characters. Any stupid thing in the world can happen through the magic of generational wealth. I just heard my roommate yell, YOU USED ME! from the living room, and I'm sitting there like, what? Two seconds later, my rat comes running into the room holding a french fry in his little baby mouth. I haven't been to a subway in two years because the woman that went, what bread do you want? And I went, yeah. When my dad was in college, he had a friend who told the girl he'd take her on a date unlike any other she'd ever been on. And so he took her to the supermarket to watch the lobsters fight in the lobster tank. They're married now. Character flaws are fucking important. Me when someone tells me to stop reading mayo packets like they're Goku tubes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You what? Who wants to see a fat otter? A real round boy? A huge man? A chunky guy? 
Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Can someone please tell me what kind of musical notation this is? That's a shark. <laughs> Why didn't Zootopia have an underwater zone full of, like, the fish prey and shark predators underwater? Worlds are so fun and beautiful, and it would have been so cool and creative, and I want it. <clears throat> shark tail. I take it back. I don't want it. What's gender? A ghost-type Pokemon. He's purple and fat. See, this is where the post should have ended. This was an amazing reply. But theater kids just had to get in the reblogs and be annoying. No, that's garlic. No, that's Gemini. I'm writing down all of your URLs and I'm going to pummel each of you in a special way. Give me a superhero whose powers are water-based and everywhere they go, they wear a raincoat because clouds have a habit of sporadically pouring down on them, indoors and out. It is later revealed that they are in complete control of these clouds and simply enjoy having an excuse to wear a raincoat. They like the aesthetic. And also, it discourages people from inviting them anywhere. I need it. Every update to this godforsaken website is just an attempt to make us leave. But too bad. I'm trapped to die here by now. And if it has to be in this ugly coffin of a platform, so be it. Hotel California, but every few weeks they redecorate and move all the furniture, and eventually you're sleeping in a bathtub under a printed gradient in a cheap frame. I hate it! I mean, I'm staying. But I hate it. So go, what do you think about baby stingrays? <gasps> it's baby! Come see my cat. Don't go in! But I want to see the cat. All I'm saying is there's 7.6 billions of us and only one god. We could take him out if we want to. Ah, but it's too bad he's so high up we couldn't possibly reach him. <gasps> Wait! I just had an idea. It's going to take a lot of construction work, though. But we could do it. Periods are worthless. Ah, uh, but the growth and preservation of the human race during the development. I don't care, not worth it. Go to they are a guideline to basic grammar. They are essential, full stop. Without them, no sentence would ever end. And then where would the parole officers be? Seriously though, the hate for grammar is not needed. And despite how essential it is to communication, I don't see what grammar had to do with the human race's growth and preservation. Uh... The energy radiating off this pose is intense, holy shit. Call that exhausted AFAB energy. You see, what the god was referring to was the- <laughs> Special delivery. Bring me Schrodinger's head! Cheat mode. Close your eyes and you can play any game in your mind. Even Paper Mario. Paper Mario's trash. Close your eyes and imagine yourself being a more likable person. Then open them and weep. Made a birthday cake for my boyfriend, but I forgot how old he was turning. You know, you could save this cake by adding well, smiley face. Well, you've aged. All right, so one time my cousin and some of our friends are playing D&D. &D. We're at the final boss battle and I'm a bard and my cousin is the DM. You are at the final boss. The bard is not allowed to seduce the boss. Oh, I'm not going to seduce anyone. Good, he's going to seduce me. <sighs> Roll. Nat 20. <sighs> <laughs> The Demon King finds you very attractive! And that is why my cousin refuses to play with me now. You know, even if you don't like Halloween, you have to appreciate its position as the sole thing keeping Christmas from advancing even further into the year, like a cancerous growth. The goth kids hold the line. I want to go on a shopping trip where I'm the only one in the shopping mall and everything I want is free. That's called night robbery. So be it. So in my Spanish class, the teacher sometimes put up a sign that says no ingles, and that means we can't use any English that day in class. And we had, like, the smartest kid who was class president, and the teacher asked him something, and he was about to talk in English before the professor pointed at the sign. So the guy busted out in German, and the whole class was stunned silence, and the teacher just gave a heavy sigh and left the room. Not wrong. All letters in my name are actually silent. It's pronounced like... Are we talking a poetic autumn breeze or a fart here? Well, it depends on your accent. Pat shell gently and receive slime. Eleven out of ten product design! I've been watching this show for the past seven years, and now I just realized they're wearing young and old versions of the same outfit! I was just thinking about this. Like, what if Madame Foster wished she was young again so she could do errands that aren't easy for her in her old age? 
So she imagined Frankie. Don't! Stop right there! Not a single step closer! A rivalry, but only one of them is taking it seriously. Don't you see? We're destined to be rivals. Fate has tied us together. Our meeting was written in the stars. It's our destiny to fight! Okay, cool, man. You want to play like Mario Kart? <sighs> yeah, sure, okay. Hey, do you have any not fun facts? The total mass of existent ants is significantly higher than the total mass of existent humans. STOP CALLING ANTS THICK! Remember that episode of Johnny Bravo where he meets a girl on the internet and she turns out to be an antelope? Johnny got catfished before it was cool. I love that he was just chill about it too. We all laugh at Guy Fieri, Smash Mouth, and the Shrek movie series, but we all also collectively agree that their existence makes the world a better place. The king laughs at the jester, but values his wit and honesty. Black Panther bakes some Jewish bread for a party thrown by a Norse god. T'Challa's holla for the Valhalla Gala. Hey, it's been 30 minutes googling words that rhyme with T'Challa for this to get 60 notes! I got your back, dude. Do you ever get so annoyed at everything that you start getting pissed off even at little things like a spoon clinking against a bowl to the sounds of people talking? I think it's called sensory overload. It's really common in people with anxiety. It can also be a result of sleep deprivation, stress, or even dehydration. Thanks, I thought I was just a bitch. I mean, let's not rule it out. I ate Chef Boyardee and began to cry. Bruh, that shit was so bad. Hey, noodles, I could have eaten those. Somewhere a can of Chef Boyardee just dropped off a store shelf and is now rolling to your house to kill you. How dare you disrespect the chef? Goad, I watch a lot of PMC more, and now that I have a Tumblr, I'm following you for myself, because you're funny as fuck. Please, place a grain of sand in my room every day until I succumb to the desert. Okay, but you don't get to choose where specifically in your room. But hint, check your belly button. Had a dream that Driffin Mac- Driffin? <laughs> Fucking what's wrong with me? Had a dream Griffin McElroy was giving tours at the aquarium as like a special guest kind of thing. And every time he stopped in front of an animal, he'd be like, All right, gang, gather round. I have no idea what the fuck this is. And then we move on. If that sewer clown makes himself an image of your worst fear before he eats you, I could kick his ass. What's he gonna do? Turn into a physical manifestation of being abandoned by your closest friends? Gonna turn into that ooky spooky visual representation of catastrophic failure and loss? <laughs> Joke's on you, dumbass. The only thing I'm afraid of is myself. Mm. Time to kick my own ass. Yeah. Bitch had it coming for too long. Let's do this shit. Minutes and minute shouldn't be spelled the same. I'm not content with this content. I object to that object. I need to read what I read again. Excuse me, but there's no excuse for this. Someone should wind this post up and throw it in the wind. For the love of God, stop! You ever get a bus driver who drives like they're running from God? You're really complaining about the discount roller coaster? Today I learned when people are electrocuted and thrown far distances, it is a result of a sudden and violent muscle contraction, and not the result of the shock. This has raised questions as to the actual strength and capabilities of the muscles in the human body. Are you telling me we're capable of eating ourselves when under extreme stress? Cowboys never die. They just ride off into the sunset. Is that what your parents told you when you came back from school one day and your cowboy was missing? <laughs> he just yeehawed to another ranch, y'all. I begin typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine, but then stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it in the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowes, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is. The world would be so much better if people would just unironically write stuff like this. I'm tired of books that take themselves seriously. Caterpillar of the Saturday Day Moth. Extremely don't eat me. Caterpillar. <laughs> be there. Ha! <laughs> That square is five B's by six B's. I'll have you know that is a B rectangle. You have failed. Um, excuse me, Avatar. I see more than four elements. Yes, hello. I am the last Berean Bender. The fact is, we need a uniquely American solution to approaching this pandemic. Like a nationwide competition where if your state has the least percent infected per capita, everyone gets free Taco Bell or something. Strangers would not hesitate to shame your non-mask wearing ass if a fucking free Baja Chalupa was on the line. I... I kind of think that would work. It's so stupid it might just work and I hate it. Ah yes, the pizza party model. Effective every time. PM, what is your opinion on Siren Head, but it makes anime noises instead of creepy radio noises? 
The idea of walking into the forest and seeing a 20-foot siren face demon saying, I need John! is scarier than anything I can comprehend. I actually really liked the concept of Siren Head until 15 seconds ago when I read this ask. I know. Elephant Rock, Iceland. This is an old god, sleeping. Nah, he's not asleep, he's just taking a long sip. Do you ever get, like, water hungry? Did you mean thirsty? No. Water hungry. That is what we're calling it now. Yo, who's gonna DM at my wedding? We're all for wedding vows. It's a nat one. Be husband. I say nervously as I accidentally knock out the marriage efficient and somehow eat the ring. The ancient Greek god Zeus used to disguise himself as animals in order to seduce women. So technically, he is the first ever furry. The idea of Zeus looking at a woman and going, it's raw XD time, is gonna haunt me forever. The Food Network show I want. Four chefs compete in a contest to determine who is the best. But they are not given certain ingredients they must use. Oh, they can use whatever they want. They are given the name of the dish. The judge says, make me purple Nirvana. And we get to watch one chef make au gratin blue potatoes, another make a blueberry shortcake, and etc. The worst dish is eliminated until one chef wins. Oh my god, I watched the hell out of this. Call it the name of the game. Who not work? I call me. Let's do this. I was baking a strawberry shortcake for my mom and I realized that I forgot the baking powder. I began to panic so I pulled the cakes out of the oven and they were already completely baked, but they rose just fine without the baking powder? I was staring at them in confusion, trying to remember if I accidentally put yeast in the powder. When I felt a shadow loom over me, I looked over my shoulder only to find Luigi. Luigi tenderly took my hands and told me, You don't need to worry for I will accompany you in any and all of your baking endeavors. I have never felt more loved in my life. I cried. I thought this was the mother of all shippos. The casting director. We need the voice of Pikachu to be a recognized name, but it's going to be tough to find a respectable actor who, Ryan Reynolds, ME! I'll do it! Pika Pika, motherfucker! Why does the King George song from Hamilton have BDSM undertones? That's so unnecessary. Well, absolute monarchs always radiate BDSM energy. I'm angry because you're not wrong. I feel like everyone worships avocados and I'm struggling because it just tastes like compressed wet grass lump, but nobody will listen and I'm all alone in this world. Don't mock my squishy hawk nuts. This is the worst thing that could have happened to this post. A few days ago, I was walking past a basketball court and a ball flew at me and I didn't flinch, caught the ball, threw it back at the guy, responded to his thanks bro with a nod. It was like the ghost of some guy named Chad took over me so I didn't, like, embarrass myself. God bless you, ghost Chad. A tomato and its grandpa. How do you even melt a tomato? I just realized that is, in fact, a pile of ketchup. Every time I think of the black market, I actually imagine a market with little stalls selling illegal things like nuclear weapons and organs. I thought it was a load! Wait, so that's not what it is? I hate... How reward systems never work for me. Like, I can't just say, if I finish this assignment, I can have a cookie. Because my brain is like, or you could just have one right now. And I can't argue with that logic. Yeah, self-imposed deadlines don't work either, because I know the guy who set them and he's full of shit. Exactly. We need more art of Remy and something besides the leather jacket. Yo, what's going on in the Ratatouille fandom? Why would a rat wear a jacket? Kitchen's chilly. I get it. All right, two things. One, labels exist to help people understand things about themselves and others. And two, you are not obligated to use labels you don't find comfortable or helpful, even if others try to press them on you. Not a shit post. Serious post. Very serious. Okay, Scooby said rut row, Shaggy said zoinks, Velma said jinkies, and Daphne said jeepers. What did Fred say? Fred says... Fred.